Okay, for number three, it's a definite row, and I actually prefer a definite row. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go back to the whiteboard, and um, you know, just write the problem down. And certainly, when I do this, it might look different than the key. I'm not looking at the key now, but um, I don't know. One day I might do one thing, another day I might do another. And I do see a cosine cubed. Now, be honest with you, what's bothering me more than anything is that 3x. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'll let u equal 3x, and du would be 3dx. So what do you get over here? And this is what's nice about this. If I got a, a definite integral, I can just move into the land of u now. So if x is 0, u would be 0. And let's see, if x, I'm sorry, if um, x is pi over 2, uh, u would be 3 pi over 2. All right, what do you get? Cosine cubed of u. And what's uh, dx? It's actually one-third of a du. So I, I think I can handle that, and I'll tell you what I mean by that. It's one-third, zero, three pi over two. So three. Cosine squared, u. And then I say cosine of u, du. And keep going. One third, zero, three pi over two, one minus cosine, I'm sorry, I made a mistake there. One minus sine squared of u times cosine of u you. I can make another substitution, and someone says, "What substitution to make?" Is I'm going to let. Um, let's see. I got u. I guess. I guess I'll go to v now. So I'm going to say v equals sine of u. So dv would be cosine of u du. All right. Let's do it. You get one third. I want to point out we're doing the lower limit, which is zero. Uh, the sine, uh, if, 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 you, if, uh, if u is zero, the sine of zero would be zero. That's pretty simple. And, and then, then what I got, I got um, the sine of um, three pi over two. And again, if you thought about it, it's really not that bad. It's just simply minus one. All right, so I got that part done. And what do you get over here? Well, I get one minus v squared. That's not difficult. And then cosine u du is dv. All right, so I'm going to continue to go through it. And what I'm going to do is, uh, I, the, the, the limits of integration, I'm going to just change them a little bit. And um, you know what, maybe I'm not going to change them. Let me just write it down. So one third, whoops, something happened there. You know what I was dealing with? Let me get my eraser out again. Let me see if I go backwards. Oh, I'm sorry about that. So it's one third, and then I'm going to get V minus v cubed over 3, limits integration 0 to minus 1. Let's plug it in. You get 1 third. Well, you can get minus 1, minus a minus 1, so plus 1 third. And then what do you get? Minus 1 third. And if you plug in 0, you just get 0. All right? So what do I get over here? I get one third minus one plus one third is minus two thirds minus zero. What does this give you? Minus two nights. All right. It, I'm not going to say a long road. It's an easy road to follow. But again, I, I can't say enough times. A lot of times you're going to get answers that don't match the answer key. And then you got to say to yourself, what did I do wrong? Look at the answer key. You could also look at my work, by the way. But again, the work may look different. All right. Uh, the answer shouldn't look different, though. Is, is the answer correct? Yeah, I'm looking at it. Minus two nights. We're good to go to the next question. Thank you.